Hurricane Milton is forecast to grow in size and intensity. It is a very dangerous storm as it approaches the west coast of Florida on Wednesday. Milton has downsized to a Category 4 storm with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. It is located 520 miles from Tampa and moving northeast at 9 miles per hour. I'm Andy Hodges for Sebastian Daly. I'll be interviewing a local government official later today. And Sebastian, here's what the weather is. As of 11 a.m., the National Weather Service issued this statement. Equivalent tropical storm forced winds of 35 to 45 miles per hour with gusts to 60 miles per hour. Now, some other areas are going to experience high gusts of 75 miles per hour. Please keep in mind, these are wind gusts. They are not sustained winds. And these gusts will start Wednesday evening as the storm moves into Tampa. The eye itself, as it passes over Florida, has the potential for hurricane wind speeds of 74 to 110 miles per hour. The eye will be 55 to 70 miles away from Sebastian. Now here's the thing, the reason we all got that hurricane warning this morning is because the wind gusts are predicted to be about 75 miles per hour. Anything from 74 miles per hour and higher is considered hurricane winds. We can also expect rainfall amounts between four and six inches. There is a risk of tornadoes in our area. We're still going to get some severe weather from this storm, especially as it passes through Cape Canaveral in Brevard County. Now look, we're going to be okay. It's not doomsday. Just be prepared and wait out the storm. The current tracking of the storm is wobbling between Titusville and Cape Canaveral. We are in the cone of uncertainty. The current track does put Milton north of us near Cape Canaveral. Now as this storm makes landfall near the Tampa Bay area, it's going to widen. And when it widens, that's going to be the tropical forest winds. Now let's take a look at some updated weather models of this storm. Here is the Euro model, which puts Milton in the Tampa area before moving to the northwest and back out the sea. And now here is the GFS model, which shows landfall farther north of Tampa and continuing north. Both of these models have been consistent with a similar track. And most of the other weather models do show a more northern direction. But the official track is what we're showing right now is the cone of uncertainty. Now today is the last day to prepare for this storm. Residents should also securely fasten outdoor items such as toys, sports equipment, and lawn furniture. Make these preparations today. Please do not trim trees at this time. Debris from such activities can clog our storm drains. We have a moderate risk of flooding during this storm. I will continue these updates with new information from the National Weather Service about our local area. Stay tuned to Sebastian Daly. You can also reach out to us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for watching.